We've done a lot of pattern matching using regular expressions, but there's a lot more to them than that. Although we've been able to match very sophisticated patterns, the process has still been essentially passive. All we've done is look for the pattern within the string, and then either we've found it, or we've extracted it and put it into an array. We haven't actually done anything to the string in which we found the pattern. We can get more active with our regular expressions by using them to do replacements. Here is the default variable set up to contain a sentence. And as it says, there's a space character dividing each word from the other. We can use a regular expression such as this to do a replace and to strip out all the spaces from the string. Let's have a look at exactly each part of this regular expression to see what it does. The first letter is the letter S. When I introduced pattern matching earlier, we use the letter M in the same place for a pattern match. Because that's optional, we haven't been using it throughout this chapter. The S, however, is not optional. It tells Perl that we're not doing a simple pattern match. We're doing a search and replace. The next part is the same as for a pattern match. It's simply the pattern that we're looking for. In this case, the pattern is very simple. It's just a space character. Then in the next part of our regular expression, we specify the replacement between the second and third slashes. Anything that falls in there is our replacement. Now, at the moment, the second and third slashes are right up next to each other. There's nothing in between them. So in effect, we're replacing spaces with nothing. In other words, taking the spaces out altogether and discarding them. Finally, the G modifier tells us that we're acting on all instances of the pattern. In other words, we're looking for all the spaces and throwing them all away rather than just one. The search and replace takes effect on the default string. And when we use the print function, the default variable will show the same as it did at the beginning, except without any of the spaces. Let's have a look at a slightly more sophisticated example of a replacement using a pattern. Here we have the name of a play. And we've used lowercase letters for every word. Now, earlier on, we discussed the use of the UC function to make all letters within a string capital. That's not really what we want here. Neither is UC first the function which capitalized the first letter of the string. We want to make every word have a capital letter at the beginning. So in order to do that, I've put together a little regular expression. Now this one is quite a lot more complex than the last one we looked at, but don't be daunted. We can break it down and look at each piece in turn. To begin with, of course, we have the S, which tells us that we're doing the search and replace. Then this part here is the pattern that we're looking for. So we're looking for an alphabetical sequence that is zero or more A to Z characters. And we could have used the plus modifier or the asterisk modifier. Either will work in this instance. And then we're looking for something that's not an alphabetical character, whether that's a space, a comma, or a full stop. So altogether, that pattern means each word. And we're also including the non-alphabetical character that comes straight after the word. But that's kind of irrelevant here, because all we're doing is we're attempting to capitalize the first letter of each word. Now, you'll notice right at the end of this regular expression, there's an extra modifier. This is the E modifier. And this stands for evaluate. And what we're evaluating here is we're evaluating the replacement. And we're going to look at that as Perl code. So instead of replacing it with the letters UC first and so on, Perl is actually going to interpret it 
correctly as a function. So what this means is give every word a capital letter. So as we find each word with the pattern, it feeds it to the UC first function, and we're accessing the patterns found by using this variable here. So each word is capitalized, and the result is returned in the place of the original word to the original string. Of course, once the string has been through the regular expression, each word will re be returned capitalized. Using patterns for replacement can make a very powerful way of manipulating text using Perl.